Okay, so I just wanted to show you um, with this patchwork embossing folder, what I did is I took a bunch of pieces of grunge board at one time um, and embossed them all in different sections of it, which was really cool because I could do that all in one time and get a bunch of different images. So I just wanted to share that with you. And so let's get started on our next technique. Yay! Okay. So next technique is we're going to be working with the Adirondack paints and I'm going to work with the metallic first. And basically what you're going to do for this is you take any metallic paint, um, whether it's the silver, the copper, whatever, um, and you emboss the image, right? And then you're going to want to show on the right side. Um, just pounce the dauber on top and it's going to have sort of a bumpy um, it's going to have sort of a bumpy um, texture to it which is exactly what you're kind of looking for so first you know you can rub it on and that gives kind of like a brushed silver effect, but if you want it to be a little stippled, like real metal, you know, like a little older metal, you can just sort of pounce it, and it gives sort of a stippled effect. So on this one, I'm going to go smooth, and this way you'll be able to see the difference. And then this one, I'm going to pounce it. So making sure it's all covered, and then I'm just going to pounce it a little. Okay, just a little, not too much, just a little pouncing to give it a little texture. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry, and then we will do something with those for when we're finished. And then these guys, okay. This too, you're going to, the bennel, same thing, you're going to ink over the top, I mean, just take off the raised portion. You don't want to take any dust off of the piece, any of that grunge dust off the piece after you've sanded it, because it sort of has the dust, so you just want to kind of wipe that off. And... Then, this is cool. Are you ready? Because this is going to be really cool. Alright, I'm going to take the walnut stain ink. After you're done, um, they've dried. You've sanded off the piece where you wanted to sand it. You've removed the grunge, like, you know, dust or whatever you call it. Okay, you're going to take some walnut stain. Okay, and you're going to ink over the entire piece. I'm getting it in there. Okay. Just like that. Then I'm going to take the mini mister and give him a little spritz. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and just lightly go over it. And what happens is that the paint resists the ink you just put over it. And it totally comes off, but it stays on that stand sanded portion. And so this is the effect that you get. And it's really cool, especially in person, because you still have that shimmeriness from the metallic, but yet you also have the contrast which is really fun for your project. Okay.